Hi, welcome back to my cup of TV with Jenny. JD. So, we've just uh, gone through the 80s unit tracks, mm. and Mingy's like, I'm not done. <laughs> I know, it's getting greedy. <laughs> yeah, so this is Desire Project number one. Well, he, now knows, he knows what we want. <laughs> he knows, how, he does not understand our desires. Mm. I think he thinks he knows, but yeah. we are a lot more depraved than he gives us credit mm. for. So, I know that apparently this is his kind of thing for releasing his music outside of 80s. Cool, so. cool, I like it. I mean, like we see with other groups. I know Hong Jun's done it, hasn't he? He puts mm. some stuff out. Yeah, so. yeah. And Jungho's yeah. done some covers and stuff. Very good for him. No, for sure, yeah. But I wasn't sure because uh, I've seen the thumbnail and I, I saw the name yeah. of it before, but I haven't heard or seen anything. Um, but... I don't know if there is a link or it just so happens to be Desire Project because 80s have got a song called Desire. So, yeah. So I don't know if it's going to be anything linked with that or if it's literally just so happens to be the name and it's completely separate. Interested to see. But the first one's called Tunnel. Mm. So my first thought Mm. is feeling like you're trapped on a path. Okay. Through life. That was... Not my mind as I will tunnel underground into Mingy's house. <laughs> and the fact that it says at the beginning, fix off. Like, what? That's, that's like ah. a warning. Yeah. Are you about to go off? Because he always said, well, this is it as well. Because it's like, normally if he's on, it's fix on. And then to fix off, you're like, is it this, could be, is, yeah. Is that what he says every night to his, to his smart lights? <laughs> fix off, and I'm going to to sleep. <laughs> But now that's what I want to program mine to do. That would be it, yeah. Can you imagine? (laughs) Alexa, (laughs) fix on. (laughs) Maybe I should change my 80s playlist to that. That's true, yeah. Fix on is a good one to trigger it. But yeah. So please remember to like, comment and subscribe in the comments. Tell us what you thought of... Tunnel? I was going to say Minky's Tunnel. (laughs) (laughs) Tell us what you thought of Mingy's song. I bet it's a beautiful song. Mingy's song, song Mingy. So it's starting with Fix On It. Okay. Do you find, though, that you can't... I mean, I'll be able to do it now, but you don't just go Fix On. You no, you have to... Fix On! Yeah, you, say, <laughs> you hear it, yeah. Lovely to hear him singing.
Joe, that's so cool to hear and see what Mingi would do as a solo. Because mm. listening to that, I suddenly was like, oh yeah, we generally get a rap chunk of Mingi. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And not to spoil it for you because I know you haven't watched it yet, but mm-hmm. we do hear some singing from him in youth. Mm-hmm. But to hear him doing both for a whole song and his own ad libs, his own backing, mm-hmm. is really cool. Yeah, and it's got a different flavour to his voice, so it's more aspirate, but obviously there's post production on the, his voice there as well. But when he raps, it's usually much more glottal and it's forward and it's yeah. just there's it's very it's clear impactful. very loud yeah that was so much more almost dreamy Emotive. kind of yeah but kind of you were being swept away on this kind of I yeah don't know what he was trying to tell you but yeah um I think that like grungy emo mingy should be a thing and he should get yeah. all of those yeah. tattoos yeah. for real yeah. Yeah, <laughs> he should. It's a great look on him. It's really good. I liked having a band around him as well. That was cool. Yeah, I like the set. I don't know. I could have kind of what it was, but it was um, it was interesting. It was pretty void of color apart from there with this pops of whatever he was lying on that was blue. Yeah, and then the fire. But predominantly, it was very grey wash. And not so. only grey wash, but all the buildings that looked like they were probably apartments and stuff. Mm. There was no signs of life in any of them. Yeah, yeah, it was all like abandoned yeah. or whatnot, which is quite sad. So It definitely had a lonely feel. Yeah. Well, when it first started, I didn't know if it was going to be about his time being out from 80s because then he said, like, I struggle to believe that I'm precious. Yeah. You know, and did I really believe this? And, you know, but then it seemed from the lyrics to then go to be speaking more about um, the aftermath of a breakup or yeah. something. Um, which I'm kind of glad about because, like I say, it felt like when the, from those first lyrics, if he was going to, if he was really going to share his own, which he may do at some point, mm-hmm. but if he was going to share his lyrics and whatnot about his experience at that time, I think if, I would have cried. <laughs> oh, it would be so sad. Because we, you know, we don't know. Yeah. He's been so he's been so brave and hasn't spoken too much about it. But as is as is his right for privacy. But yeah, um, but it was it was lovely. I really liked the sound of it. Um, it wasn't too yeah, too big production. It's, it's a song you get lost in. Yeah, I so I mean, that's that feeling. Yeah. I, I don't know what this means, but you know what I mean. Yeah. It's that feeling. <laughs> um, yeah, I like hearing him swear. <laughs> have to say I think it was an interesting choice and a good choice in some ways Mm. for this look and styling and swearing in this kind of song Mm -hmm. because if he was coming at me being sexy mingy dressed like that and swearing Mm. I don't know that I'd handle it very well Mm -hmm. do you know what I mean it had a different feel because he wasn't it wasn't that kind of song yeah yeah it was vulnerable and sad Mm. Despite him being fully clothed and that jumper he was wearing, I love the outfit, yeah. but it was like he was wearing all these layers and whatnot. But you're like, he's still so very raw and wow. kind of naked. It was all very distressed what he was wearing, wasn't it? Rips and. Yeah. But it had like nowhere to hide, you know, because it was just him. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it was, it was good. I say good, but it was sad. But it was, um, yeah, interesting. It was good. Yeah, it was definitely about trying to pull yourself out of that feeling. Mm. So that was our reaction to Tunnel by Mingy. I have to say it that way. So it's interesting, actually, you say, because he didn't, obviously... You know, like, sometimes, again, when a song is called something, but it's actually not mentioned at all, so that word wasn't in it. No. He didn't sing about being in a tunnel and whatnot. But it's interesting, so like when you said, Stuck like going a through a tunnel, yeah, yeah, it's like, but a tunnel, in theory, every tunnel has to have a, be- a beginning and an yeah. end, like an opening and, a, and an exit, so yeah, this could be, I mean, his obviously desired project, he could just be, I don't know if that was talking about him coming out the other side, or if he was just in the tunnel, because obviously yeah. the darkest point of that tunnel is right when you're yeah. in it, because there's no light, the light is at either end, yeah. so I don't know. 
but the journey you have to go through. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But a good, uh, good choice for I think what he was trying to convey. Yeah, and a not as I said a good way and a nice way of seeing a different side of what Mingy can bring. Yeah, yeah. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.